This is Fudge Films. Hit it! I wouldn't change places with anyone tonight. We'll carve pumpkin faces and watch the witches fly. Every human heart will shudder Every soul will shake with fear Tonight, the creepiest Tonight, the scariest Tonight, the most wonderful Coming up next, our feature presentation. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your dog could turn into a cat. Fudge Films is brought to you by Tiers 1, 2, and 3 subscriptions Twitch Prime subscriptions Podcast listeners YouTube subscribers And chatters like you Fuck you Half of the time we're gone and we don't know where and we don't know where. But I know where you can get good pizza at Peakview Games Pizza Emporium off around 1612. And here we've got all kinds of pizza. We have the normal good pizza and we have the other pizzas that you would want to eat. Mamma Mia, that's a pizza for me. So come on down and we'll be the only living pizza place in Western Illinois. Call them young. Call them inexperienced. Just don't call them mediocre. Me, I call them dangerous. But who am me? I'm Lieutenant Inspector Nate Danger. And in all my years, I've never seen a comedy group that makes me smile as much as Fudge Fields. But who are they? What? about them is so intoxicating to an obsessive middle-aged man. This is what I'm here to show you. This is the Fudge Files. Mike, the captain, loud, arrogant, greedy, the leader of Fudge Films. 
Mike takes great pleasure in the creation of Fudge Film's, quote, content, unquote. Or rather, he takes great pleasure in the financial haven that is internet comedy. For a while, we perceived that Mike only cared about financial restitutions owed to him by his, quote, chat, unquote. But recently, we've received intel that leads us to conclude there is one other thing Mike cares about. Clayton. It's unknown why anyone cares for Clayton, but one can assume getting between the two of them would be like getting between a doggy and a smaller doggy that the bigger doggy wants to play with. That being said, his compassion may be his downfall, as Mike is quick to temper and quick to act, doing before thinking. His anger has led Fudge Films into many precarious situations, like the Great Fish Fight of 2017, or the Pancake Panic of 2018, or the Fish Fight Round 2 of 2019. Without Mike, there is no Fudge Films, and without Fudge Films, there is no Mike. Threat Level Cherry, it is my hope in greatest fear that Mike continues to push Fudge Films forward and into the public eye. Hopefully we'll all be blind by then. There may be a toad in your bass guitar Or your sister could turn into a bat Christmas time brings the snow Summertime brings the sun And now, our feature presentation That was an original piece. Um, I call that song Scare Me Awake. It's Friday night. Do you know where your spooky entertainment is? You just found it. Tonight, I will be playing the bone chilling, the spine tingling, the skin-crawling tones of the stylophone. So sit back, get your nicest pair of earphones on, um, just prepare for an auditory haunted house extravaganza. Let's let's begin. Okay, I actually don't have another bit for that. Um, but
but the plan is uh, I'm, I'm just going to play with a stylophone for two hours, man. I don't, that's all I want to do tonight. I just want to play with the stylophone. Um, our, our good friend Jesse, who does dub hunt with us, got this for me. Um, and I am completely enamored with it because it's a um, children's toy that makes a loud noise. And uh, need I say more? <laughs> So I'm gonna be looking at a lot of like different um, how to play the stylophone videos. We're gonna be looking at some uh, stylophone tab sheet. But the main thing I want to start off is with is uh, how in the good gosh dang do I play this thing? Because I thought I had it down and I was dude I was I was rocking out. Um, I was playing the House of the Rising Sun. I mean, I was going nuts, and then I found out that I was actually probably playing it wrong. So I want to learn how how do I play the stylophone? How to play stylophone? <clears throat> okay, let's let's check it out, Chen. Stylophone notes for everyone. If you're new with stylophone like me, it can be tricky to find sheets to play something you want. And mostly the notes are typed in letters, which is a bit confusing. So here's the same layout with the letter notes for easy use. Okay, so longer notes are dash, shorter notes, okay. So if we really wanted to, if we were really trying to find music, we can convert it, which is very nice. Um... You know, here they're playing the Worms main theme. Now, here's the thing. The dashes here. Is this a... I mean, do you drag it or do you just tap the next one? Let's let's see what they say. Um, drag... Oh, drag notes is an arrow. Longer notes is a hold. Okay. Okay. So if I want to play the Worms theme, I do like. Did that sound like the Worms theme to anyone? Because <laughs> it, it didn't to me. <laughs> Let's see how they do it. Oh. Do you, do you guys even have You guys don't have audio. Hold on. See, they just dragged. Is that a, are they dragging it? <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, let's see how do Rasputin. That's pretty badass. That's pretty badass. Are there um I guess not. I guess we're let's let's look up um like stylophone B 
beginner songs. Beginner's Guide to the Stylophone. This, this is actually probably what I wanted in the first place. Okay guys, so now that I've given you a nice guided tour of the Stylophone Gen X1 and of Synthesis, I'm going to show you some of the amazing effects that I've discovered. So just to simplify things, and so that I can remember the settings. No, this, this isn't what I just want to know how to play the, st the Stylophone. 16 classic hits on Stylophone. Let's check it out. Okay, where are the tabs? I just want the tabs, man. <laughs> I just want the... Okay. Let's look up stylophone tabs. Uh. Michael Jackson's Beat It. Re beat it is this easy. Okay, let's see. Oh, I get it. It's dun 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 dun. D guys, <laughs> I'm I'm really like Michael Jackson. Wow. Here, uh, the Axel F should sound good on a stylophone, right? Hold on, let's turn it to bass. That actually didn't sound that bad. That was competent. That was competent. Optional four, four to be added for annoying, crazy frog ding ding. Okay. That, I'm getting like flashbacks to fourth grade, man. This is just bringing back the time I tried to pay, play the saxophone. That's getting there, that's getting there. No, it's four eight four four.
Ding, ding. <laughs> Little on <unmuted>. much, <laughs> That, gang, this really is what all the stream's gonna be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you came here expecting me to play a spooky game and to be all riled up. Man, I just wanna play with my style phone. That's all I want, man. Oh, the bit. Alright, let's play Bittersweet Symphony by Verb. Let's do it, man. Six point five, four point five, five. like the microphone down closer into it but I like can't uh, and now my microphone's like <laughs> slipping nope oh that'll actually maybe this will work Okay, you can hear it pretty well. Okay. Alright, I don't know how to play Bittersweet Symphony. We're not even gonna... Oh, this... Hey, this will be... This is Halloween-y. It's the Ghostbusters theme. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh huh. I don't think I'm supposed to be on base. On base. Ouch. Okay. Hey, that, hold on, that actually. That, hey, that's a, that's a thing, man. see oh that's gonna be really hard right like that like and then the rest of these notes are the like the fan like like it goes like dun 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 the the rest of this is the dun 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 part that's gonna be really hard to play fast I also want to watch Ghostbusters. I want to watch Ghostbusters every day of my life, man. Is this an ASMR stream? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Dun, 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 dun. What is the seven four? Listen, okay. That's the thing, right? Dun 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 dun. That's dun 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 dun. dun. But with this, there's a seven and a four after it. So like, it wants me to do like. Wait, dun 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 dun. What? Dun dun dun. 
What? Am I going not? Is that right? That doesn't sound right to me. And it doesn't even have the part of the song where he goes, you got host from a freaky ghost. Yeah, that doesn't seem right to me. Brother, I don't know. Here, let's do the base. Here's the base part of Ghostbusters. That's the base part. <laughs> That's not <funny. laughs> right. Um, here's one. Two, four, four and a half, five. Some of these tabs, man. I <laughs> Some of these tabs don't make a lick of sense. That, yeah, that one don't make sense to me. I don't think that was right. That was supposed to be the Pink Panther theme. And that, uh, I don't know, that didn't sound great. <clears throat> Let's check out the Stylophone subreddit. Slash 
much equals quarter rest? Dash equals move through faster. Got it. The thing with a lot of these is you have to like, and maybe it's just me, because I'm I I have no concept of timing and rhythm with this, but with some of these you have to like think about what the song really sounds like. Kind of made sense for a minute. This, the last two don't make sense, right? Like you have uh, the end doesn't make sense. That's supposed to be the Mario Brothers three like map music, like. That sounds right. That sounds exactly like it. But then you get this part of... That's not right at all. Weird. And it's only like that beginning part. They don't even go in on it. Ugh. does not look like the stylophone community is popping off with stylophone uh, tabs. But... All right, chat. Can you guess what song this is? This is gonna go really well.
Ray Chat. What song was that? Whoever can figure out what that song was. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this one would be really... If I could play this properly, this would probably sound really good. Okay. I get what's going on with this one. This is just going to be really hard. That's I, I that's actually right. It is Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. It is the, the my first attempt at ever playing it. The other song though, the one that I said I would give someone twenty dollars if they could guess it, was uh supposedly the Halo theme. It kind of sounded like it. That was a, that was a good guess. Uh, was uh, Pluto? Pluto? That's a good good work. I don't know how you guessed that from this, but good work. <laughs> okay. All right. You're a musician. Okay. That actually makes sense. Um, let's try another one. Hmm. This one is actually really easy. Really?
Okay. That Strawberry Fields Forever actually seems pretty easy. That this one seems doable. This one seems like one I could learn. This one seems uh, simple. it up yeah it's not the intro it's the like the chorus and everything I guess that ending makes sense. <laughs> Sweet child of mine. Yeah, let me hear. Let, let me. I'll do the guitar solo from Sweet Child of Mine. Wait, hold on. Here it is. The guitar solo from Sweet Child of Mine. Okay. <laughs> now that I've ended it, shredded everyone's ears off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow I doubt it. <laughs> I, I think I'll definitely get better at this as time goes on. But, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think, uh, I'm not going to quit my daytime or my day job anytime soon. Oh, why are we wobbling? Okay. ending sounds a little wonky to me but other than that this is, uh, I could get good at this one this one I could do <laughs> you don't want to try learning piano instead um i think they tried to they taught us like piano in like eighth grade and um i did not do well at that that was not my strength so you know the stylophone is the first step back in you know <laughs> Uh, when will you take song requests? Go, you know what? This is the all request hour. Go ahead, get your song requests in. We'll see if there's any tabs. <laughs> yeah, this this would be 
Honestly, this would be more fun than piano, honestly. I like this a lot. Back in black. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Back in black stylophone chords. Back in black stylophone. Well. Hmm. I, there isn't Back in Black, but there is Thunderstruck. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're going all, they got all kinds of stylophones. They got the drum stylophones. Stylophone, right? How to play is stylophone. This has made me <laughs> deeply unconfident. <laughs> this is some 8 bit boss music. Yeah, dude, definitely is. I considered getting some of those pocket operators, they're really cool. Okay, interesting. This literally. <laughs> I, I, I think you could do some incredibly cool stuff with this stuff. How do you use a stylophone? Okay, good. Edited in Windows Movie Maker. That's good. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use the stylophone. Uh -huh. uh, some quick history. The stylophone was made by a guy who uh, mended this girl's broken toy piano. And he thought, why don't you work it by electricity? So he made the stylophone. Okay, uh, the basic features are, there's a big speaker here, okay. you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, then you've got your stylus here. And then you've got your actual key keys here. And the keys are just like on a normal piano. So you've got your black notes and your white notes. I'll, I'll tell you about that a bit later. And then on the side here, you've got your on switch and your vibrato sw switch. And then on the side, you've got your uh, headphone socket, where you can plug your headphones in. Your MP3 socket, where you can plug in any other MP3 audio device. Like an iPod, iPhone, uh, PSP, MP3 player. I'm gonna plug any, my PSP kind of into my stylophone. Or audio player. <laughs> then also on the other side, you've got your uh, noise, so how loud it is. And then on the bottom, you've got your three different settings. So that's um, kind of low or original. And you've got your a bit higher, and you've got really screechy sound. These are extras in the new stylophone. This is the new stylophone, but you can still play songs from the old stylophone, obviously. Uh, and then on the back, you've got your battery case, and then you've also got your tuner, which makes the pitch higher or lower. So um, if you turn to the front, as you can see, um, the, you just need to switch it on just by sliding that down. Mm -hmm. And, I have um, accomplished that at least. To, to I have that going for me. You basically just pop out your pen by clicking at one of the sides, and it pops out like that. You can take it out and basically press keys. Just like on a normal piano. Now, um, on a stylophone, instead of it having just like C, D, E, and 
and um, F and then G, A, B, like on a normal piano. Um, the keys are actually marked out by numbers, as you might have noticed. Because on the bottom, as you can see, you've got 1, 2, 3, and it goes all the way up to um, 12. And those are basically your white keys. So uh, on here, 1 would actually represent A, as you can see on an old piano. And at the top line, you've got these half notes, which are basically what they are on the piano, half notes. They're your black keys. So if that's if number 1's A, then 1 1.5 is basically A sharp, or B flat. So you can work it out simply. That's how stylophone music is um, written out. <laughs> Thank you, Clodo. Thanks for thanks for hanging around for a bit. Sorry, I just I need to know so if I'm doing this wrong. Sorry if this is the boring part, cool but thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I want to learn how to play that jingle with a stylophone. Have a good uh, evening, night. Morning, day, wherever you're at, have a good one. Thank you. Your stuff off the same thing. Uh, click on the link um, here, which takes you to one for Windows Vista on 7. Or click on the one here, which takes okay, you. Okay, so he didn't really teach me anything. <laughs> If I'm playing this correctly, um, eleven. Here, how do the famous people play it? They both tap and slide. Is there is there tabs for this? This is this is not okay. Um, I guess I just do what I want to do. You know. And what I want to do is play Strawberry Fields Forever, man. This is... Uh, Strawberry Fields Forever is like... My... It might be my favorite Beatles song. It's my favorite not... Incredibly popular Beatles song. You know, it's not It's not a Let It Be or a, a Hey Jude. Should I be sliding? I don't think so. I guess I'm just gonna have to make my own tabs, right? Um, Smash Mouth walking on the sun tabs. <laughs> Can someone get tabs for the harmonica part, part in Piano Man by Billy Joel? Okay. That didn't sound like Billy Joel. It sounded like Bobby Jim. Oh, I get it. 
that I... That sounded nothing like their harmonica part. We need we need some spooky music, chat. Um Anyone have jump by Van Halen tabs? Can you imagine trying to play jump on this thing? Oh yeah, Bowie recorded Space Oddity with a stylophone. I'll just learn how to play Space Oddity. Uh, oh boy someone has mapped out the entire someone's done the tabs for the first Jojo opening times <laughs> hopefully it's easy for you because it's really hard for me to play enjoy that's cool man but like i don't want to learn the first jojo opening on a stylophone i want to play like that yeah tabs for mario 64 they don't say what mario 64 song this is it's just tabs for mario 64 so let's find out, chat. Oh, I know me. But th this looks like this is just the beginning of the bomb battlefield. So like. See, I don't know how to read these tabs. This is the thing, because with these tabs, some of them have a dash in between the numbers, and then some of the, oh, probably the space is a rest. Okay. They get like right into Bomb Battlefield and then they don't go any further with it, man. Just post the whole song. I want this to look like like the Matrix. I want numbers everywhere. Well, that's the thing. I've never played the guitar, right? I've never I don't even think I've ever seen guitar tabs. <sighs>
four, four and a half, five, four and a half. Wait, four, four and a half, five, four and a half. That's it? That's where they cut off with the tabs? Right as it's getting good? It's getting good and they cut it off. What a load of malarkey. Well, that would be a good one. Hmm. Baby shark tabs? Hmm. 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 I'm gonna uh I'm gonna throw it to a BRB real quick. I gotta, I gotta hit the restroom, and I'll be right back. If I can just get the, just get the thing in the hole. Okay, I'll be right back. It's gonna mess up every cassette from London to Idaho. April first. Fudge Feelings will return after these messages. <laughs> Yo, call them inexperienced. Just don't call them mediocre. Me, I call them dangerous. But who am me? I'm Lieutenant Inspector Nate Danger. And in all my years, I've never seen a comedy group that makes me smile as much as Fudge Fields. But who are they? What about them is so intoxicating to an obsessive middle-aged man? This is what I'm here to show you. This is the Fudge Files. Fudge Films, FF, recognized by their star insignia. They are a comedy group created for the sole purpose of, quote, comedic expression, unquote. Sickening. Their tactics include satire, improvisation, puns, wordplay, and what the pea-brain youth call, quote, shit posting, unquote. There appears to be a menagerie of colorful characters who demand the spotlight. Reports on them have been filed separately, though note, many could be aliases for the main members of the organization. Fudge Films currently operates under what they call the, quote, three pillar system, unquote. A deceptively simple planning method that includes high quality skits, which can be found on their YouTube channel. A high-quality podcast, which can be found on YouTube or audio streaming services. And a high-quality live stream on Justin.tv, where they play, quote, video games, unquote. All of this makes up the byproduct that Fudge Films passes off as, quote, comedy, unquote. Threat level, raspberry. It is my hope and my greatest fear that Fudge Films continues and expands for years to come. Oh Christ. Thank you.
<laughs> Let's commit mass genocide. Contra Take me on. One. He didn't hear, he no sold that, dude. I'm all about exploiting old ladies. That's the uh, Fudge Films way. Wait, no, wait, I need to get that railing. Okay. And there's the checkpoint. And then the stage continues. <laughs> <laughs> Technology's a, it's a wacky world we live in, isn't it? Sure. Are you wearing any underwear? No, never. I like to sleep with my ass pushed up against you so I can rub myself into your crotch and wake you up with a heart on. It worked! Yeah, I, I know how to play chords. That's important. That's why you're the bass player. That's why player. you're the bass player. Hey, there we go, boys. You find your role. <laughs> An inspiring underdog story. <laughs> uh, there's no one else uh, on this fucking earth that I would want to do this with. Fudge Films is very, very much you and I. Um, and I'm really fucking happy that you're in my life and doing this with me. See, in that time I almost cried on the, on the podcast again. <laughs>It's Fudge Films presents a tribute to comedy. Here are your favorite comedians, performed by one very funny man. Alright, how about a little bit of Jerry Seinfeld himself? What's the deal with airplane food? They're yeah, not an airplane and they're not food. Some of the new. I don't want to have kids. I've got a dog named Petunia, and she's a gremlin. In... My wife is Jewish! Some of the old classics. I once shot an elephant in my pajamas. There may be a toad in the bass guitar, or your sister could turn into a bat. Christmas time brings the snow, summertime brings the sun. And now, our feature presentation. Check this one out. This was the one I was gonna play before I had to rush to the bathroom. I shouldn't say rush. It was not. It was not a potty emergency chat. It was just I had to use the rush. Anyways. Actually, sounds pretty good.
That actually sounds really good. That comes together really well. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm getting a chat. I'm getting a chat. Hold on. Hold on, gang. Pretty much mastered that one. Add that one to the old routine. I've got that one mastered. Um, if, if you didn't know, that is the Luigi's Mansion theme. That was very good. I was very satisfied with how that came out. Hmm. Do we have any song requests in chat? Any song requests? Chatters? Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of tab requests, but
Okay. People post incomplete tabs, and I get really excited because I think like, oh, this is it. We found it. We found a good one, but it's an incomplete tab, and it's like, uh, uh, huh? Morrowind main theme. Badass. Oh, that was supposed to be Blue, I'm Blue by Eiffel 5. <laughs> I think the real horror of tonight's stream is, is that people are listening to me play at all. Okay, we've looked over the entire stylophone <laughs> uh, subreddit. Stylophone online. Oh, I have to register? Okay. Sure, let's register. Can I look at tabs now? Tabs. Hundreds of songs. Chat. Hundreds of songs. Oh, actually though. Alright chat, any requests? We've got hundreds of songs. I hear it. I hear it. Norwegian Wood by the Beatles. Uh, people have, they have Yellow Submarine, like, completely mapped out. Like, uh, a section for the verse and a section for the vocal. Or the chorus. That's actually pretty badass. the 
course. Of course, looks really easy. really easy hey i really like doing yellow submarine that is incredibly simple uh interesting oh god they've mapped out all of blondie heart of glass as well that's impressive honestly mm, mm -hmm. let's see how this one goes supposed to be the overture to cats the musical uh, let me know if you guys got any cat related um flashbacks okay coolio gangsters paradise let's do some sonic movie stuff Sandstorm. Not even joking. <laughs> so, David Bowie did all of Space Oddity uh, on a stylophone. And I don't know how he did it, because, God, it's difficult. Um, oh, no, I don't want to do that one. All right, let's do, let's do fun dot, or is it fun? Uh, tonight, we are young. This was the hottest song of 2012. That was Fun Dance, We Are Young. <laughs> Gary Newman's Cars? Hold on, this one would be great. Oh my god, I get it. 
11, 10 and a half, 7, 8, 8. 11, 10 and a half, 7, 8, 8. Eights, is it? Here in my car, I got a label can be as it listen to you. If you listen to me and <laughs> Gary Newman's Cars was the first song I ever downloaded <laughs> because I had a Zune MP3 player and I used Rhapsody. Does anyone remember Rhapsody? And my dad was like, You gotta get Gary. New Do they have Gary Newman's Cars on this thing? And I was like, Yeah, and he's like, You gotta get Gary Newman's Cars. That's, I mean, you gotta get Gary Newman's cars. <laughs> okay. I mean that's the song, isn't it? Is that what that part is? Wait. No, that doesn't even have the chorus. That's that's it. I mean, you could probably figure it out, but like, does anyone really care about about <laughs> Gary Newman's cars that much? God, they have they have Gautier, somebody that I used to know completely mapped out L verse for verse that's nuts hold on don't you want me no that's not right okay That doesn't sound right. This is the the chorus medley to Jack Stomper's Buttercup. Wait, shit. Shit. Another five, okay. The, the last two notes do not sound right. It does not feel right. Hot cross buns. 
Um, that might be a little too modern for the site. Hold on. Let's see. Hot cross buns stylophone tab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There, no one has done... No one has done stylophone tabs. Oh. Oh. No, that was Jack Stauber's Buttercup. This is the course to Jack Stauber's Buttercup. doesn't sound right at all. Those the seven and the six point five. That's way too high. That's not right. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna play Juice World's Lucid Dreams. This was one of my favorite. I remember being a kid, waiting for the bus to show up, and I would have like 15 minutes that I could. I would switch to MTV because MTV would still show music in the mornings. Or maybe it was VH1. I think it was VH1. Would show music in the mornings. They would show music videos, and La Rue's Bulletproof. That one song is like, that's not my name. And then um, Jay-Z's Forever Young would like play all the time. This is like 2008, 2009. Would blast all the time. And those were like my three favorite songs. sound just like it <laughs> listen i don't doubt that these I, I genuinely don't doubt that these tabs are actually correct it's just i don't know what i'm doing i'm, I'm a baby you know I'm, I'm a i'm a newborn in both the stylophone and music in general They have all of One Direction's What Makes You Beautiful mapped out. So that's... Thanks. Oh, dude. Papa Roach's Last Resort. Nice. Wait. I don't even... I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Oh, Love My Way by the Psychedelic Furs. Hold on, this one would actually be cool. Hmm.
Okay, Gavin just sent me a video. Uh, yeah, the Ting Tings. That's not my name. I liked that song a lot when I was a kid. the xylophone from the psychedelic furs love my way <laughs> oh this one could be good Chat, what song was that? Guess what song that was. Shit. It's two six, yeah. song is that chat? <laughs> okay. I did have it right. Chat, what is it? What is it? What is it? Shit. Shit, I did it again. This is real easy. This is real easy. <laughs> Come on, chat.
Shit. Yes, it is never going to give you up by Rick Astley. Good work. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I get it. Chad, can you get this one? This one seems really easy to play, actually. Okay. What is it? 11, 12, 9, 7, 7, 8, 5, 3. Wait, this isn't right. That, this is nothing. You've given me the barest basic, like this is a work in progress. Look, who lives in a pineapple? Wait, who lives in a pineapple? Under it, it, it's not even the whole thing. That's all that's listed. That's it. That's all that's listed for the SpongeBob theme song. What is that? That is nothing. Alright chat, let's go, we'll do one more, alright? I know I could have played a spooky game or done whatever, I know. Maybe I should have, but I just wanted to play around with the stylophone. Yeah, that was supposed to be Africa by Toto. That, the intro thing was right. The rest of that didn't sound right. But okay. All right, chat. Here we go. Last song of the night.
I think I got it. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. That's supposed to be the, I guess, a guitar riff from ZZ Top's Sharp Dressed Man. I'm gonna sneeze now. <sighs> God, there's so many. There's not that many different xylophones, but there's some really professional ones. That's cool, man. If I ever learn how to play this thing, maybe. But their website does have tutorials. Are they like good tutorials? Like, how do I play the thing? Are they gonna be bad tutorials? Like, how to turn it on? Because they don't necessarily need that. Oh, how to play your stylophone, the basics. Yeah, that would help. Okay. Well, maybe next week, chat, I'll have, I'll be the sickest stylophone player you ever saw. You'll, I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna be going. second original song of the night I call that song a tribute to Gavin <laughs> for sticking with me the whole night oh criminy listen I could have played the 100 different games I could have done whatever but I just wanted to hang out and play my style phone and talk for a bit that's all I really have in me today so next week um how, how many more weeks do we have? Two, right? Yeah, we got two more. Okay, then I don't feel that bad about this one just kind of being a stream for me. You know, so you got to do one for the folks at home, and you got to do one for yourself, you know? This one was one for me. Um, maybe, maybe next week we'll do more puppet combo games. That seems to be one for you guys. One that I'm terrified to do. So maybe we'll do that. Who knows? We'll do something next week. We'll play a game next week. It won't just be me playing around with a stylophone. But I do want to say a couple things. <clears throat> um, hold on. There we go. Um, on the main channel, there's a new clip compilation that you can go check out. Of uh, all the summer streams that came out really well, so check that out. That's my plug for this week. That's all I got to plug. I've been um, I got the CRT on my desk now and a VCR, and I've been going through. I've got all these recorded off TV tapes, and I've just been going through like popping them in. Like, what's on this one? And I'm I'm sitting on like a gold mine a lot of these times. Like some of this stuff. Like, I, I'm I'm excited to have on tape, but really what I'm excited is I'm going to uh, work on a setup to rip them, to archive them, get them somewhere. Probably commercials on YouTube, but then like maybe the full tapes on archive.org or something. I don't know. I don't know if they'll even accept them, but that's my plan. Like I've got um a Blues Big Monday. It was a, from 1997, it was a marathon of 10 Blue's Clues episodes um, on Nick Jr. I have that, right? My grandma recorded that for me when I, before I was born, I think. So, there's some cool commercials in there. Uh, there was a tape that just said Star Trek. And I popped it in and I rewound it all the way. And um, while I don't doubt Star Trek's on there somewhere... It, it was um, the first episode of Pokemon on Kids WB. So that's cool. That's that, I have that on the tape. I'm going to try and rip that and get that uploaded somewhere. Um, 
there's there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna like try and rip and upload. And the one thing I really want to do once I get this this setup going is I want to stream some tapes. Now I can't stream Pokemon, I can't stream Blues Clues, but I have a bunch of unlabeled tapes, like a lot of unlabeled tapes. Hey, what what's going? What's up, guys? Uh, Dinner, a deadly teddy teddy bear. How's it going, gang? What's up? Um, I'm gonna try and stream, uh, I wanna stream those, uh, unlabeled tapes, and who knows what could be on them, some, you know, they could be episodes of, of Star Trek, or, or, or they could be pornography, in which case, uh, I'm going to scream and delete the VOD, but I doubt, I doubt it's gonna be porn, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, mm. I think if anything, it's going to be just cartoons, kids' cartoons, or like home videos, like someone's like wedding tape. But we'll see. So I want to stream that at some point, but um, we'll see. We'll see whenever I get the setup together. It shouldn't be too long because it's it's a pretty quick and dirty, down and easy setup. So that's the plan. At some point, we'll see. But that's the plan. Um, clip compilation on the main channel. I'm goofing around with tapes. I'm goofing around with the style phone. I'm going to... Listen, I'm going to come back next Friday. And I'm going to be able to play a full song on this thing. You guys are going to be so blown away how good my style phone skills are. How much I've, I've excelled as a style phone artiste. <laughs> You're going to be blown away. So... <laughs> Come back next Friday, and you're going to be uh, starstruck. You're going to go, this is the next hot new stylophone king. Um, you know, Michael Jackson was the king of pop, Elvis the king of rock. I'm going to be the king of whatever the hell this is. So, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if I have any musical ability. I think, you know, I'm someone with like a decent rhythm. I have decent, like, hand-eye coordination rhythm, but the stylophone's throwing me. Uh, I'm like... It's like my entire brain has to buffer when I'm playing the stylophone. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to keep working on it, because I really like this thing. And it would be really cute and nice to be able to um, do music for fudge film skits with this thing. So we'll see. We'll see. But... That's the plan. Um, I have two people sitting on my patio talking. I'm. I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to go scream at them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're my friends. It's fine. You're allowed to scream at your friends, chat. You're allowed to abuse your friends. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I also want to say Tuesday. Tuesday, Resident Evil. Tuesday, Resident Evil Two. We'll be doing more of that. This time with hopefully no audio issues. So, I'm really excited about that. Because I really, really like that game. So, I think that's everything, chat. I think that's all I got. So, I'm going to call it. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Um, I'm going to have, hopefully, some good stories to tell you next week. Some music to play you. And some jokes to make myself laugh. So, I'll see you next week. I'll see you after the weekend. So, alright. Thank you for being here. A lot of new people in chat tonight. It, uh, I can't put into words how nice it is to see you here. Um, new followers tonight. Good night. Good night, honestly. Let me tell you, my wallet is loaded. <laughs> no, I just I just really like chatting. I really do. I just like talking to you guys. Um That's that's why I stream, honestly, is cuz I just want to I want to meet new people and talk to new people. And Twitch seems like a really decent way to do that when you're trapped in your own house because of covid twitch seems like a decent way to just like meet new people so 
I hope I keep meeting you. I hope I hope we keep chatting. So, all right. I'm going to call it a night before my friends think I'm ditching them. I I played the stylophone for too long. <laughs> I sacrificed human interaction just to play the stylophone. So, I'll, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Thanks for being here. All right. Play me out. Ooh. But on Halloween, your blood begins to run. Something spooky is going down. Come on, Halloween. It's better than a video. Gremlin's gonna mess up every cassette from London to Idaho. April 1st can be fun. New Year's Eve is a bore. But on Halloween, your flesh begins to grow. Oh, I'm losing control. It appears that is all for tonight. Be gone. Your dentist could turn into a queen. Has anybody seen my tambourine? I may start playing, begin the begin. The craziest night you've ever seen. This hairy, scary, creepy, crawling. This has been a Fudge Films production.